we're going to have a look at performing a bubble sort. This is the simplest type of sort to perform. Here we have six numbers which are not in the correct order. We also have a variable called changes. At the moment the changes variable is set to no. To perform our bubble sort we need to look at the first two numbers of the array. In this case that is 5 and 3. We need to swap the numbers if they're in the wrong order. So because 3 is lower than 5, we need to swap them around and put that first. We also need to alter the changes variable to yes, because we've now made a change. Before we looked at the numbers in position 0 and 1. Now we need to move on a space, so we'll look at the positions for 1 and 2, and swap them around if they're in the wrong order. And we continue doing this for all the numbers, moving along one and swapping them until we get to the end of the array. Once we've got to the end of the first pass, we need to go back to the beginning. Because changes were made, we need to set the changes variable back to no and start the whole process again. This means that we go back to place 0 and 1 check to see if they're in the right order and swap them over if they're not and work through the whole array again. This process needs to be repeated every time we get to the end of a pass where changes have been made. In this example, because it's such a small array, we can see that it's in the correct order. However, because on the last pass changes were made, we still need to go through the whole process again, just to make sure. It is only once we've made a complete pass of the entire array and no changes have been made that we can be sure that they're all in the correct order, and then we can end our bubble sort.